everybody from around the world and welcome to this quick overview of the latest new features for next gen sprites and let's see so dual materials with dual materials you can basically go there and fuse two materials into one this means that we can lerp the color and the float values from one material to another and so let's see how it works i have here this demo scene so let's play and as you can see we are here at the zero zero value and if i move to a one then it changes changes to um, a different property and it's a very simple setup so let's see here we have the sprite and i have here a simple script so it takes the first material and second material and then it assigns the new material um, to the sprite renderer and we can give the material also a name so uh, this example um, awesome dual material and if i press play and we can see the material is called as set here in the editor let's go into mono develop uh, let me make this a little bit uh, bigger all right so very simple we have our um, fields first material second material and then what we do is we make um, get our references and we also um, uh, make an instance of the dual material as we can see here new dual material and we need to specify the first material and the second material and then the material name and then um, we just call the lerp function so as you can see I could also do something else so um, lerp and then I could say I don't know uh, 0 0.5 for example and in this case I'm just using the um, slider here to set the material value as you can see the slider here is using the set material lerp method that I have uh, specified here and one thing to note is that um, the lerp is using normalized values so um, we are basically clamped from 0 to 1 and also another thing that I have to note is that textures are currently not supported but um, I have some ideas so let's see if we get this one day um, let's do everything here da -da -da -da. so yeah make an instance of the new dual material specify the two materials and then we basically get this new material and also to ca you can uh, um, get the reference to the material by using used uh, fused material so you get the material um, itself all right and we go into the example here we have the second material uh, we could for example go there and make the tint black for example and then we press play then you can see oh, it's actually not really a good example this one here but for example reflection we could uh, put it to zero and now if we move on um, the reflection gets removed all right good good now next feature um, very new we have now um, a shadow system uh, to be precise um, shadow receiving because shadow casting was always there and all um, sprites can receive shadows as you can see if I move around the um, directional light you can see that it, everything works wonderful so how this can be set up is basically we have a new um, set of shaders and it's called um, standard shadowy you can see standard shadowy as the same set as the standard they basically work the same and we can also switch them by the um, by this material inspector here so I could go back to standard and as you can see everything went away and I uh, enable again shadow receiving then we get back again our shadows but there's also some stuff we need to set up it's not enough that we just um, set the shader here to shadow receiver 
we also need to go there and um, uh, make the settings on the sprite, ren sprite renderer component itself and this job can be done very easily we just need to go there we say window next gen sprites widget and let me put it like uh, here on the side wonderful and now if I select one sprite like this background for example I can go there to the shadows tab here and then we can enable or disable the casting and receiving of shadows so if I have disabled here the shadow as you can see it went away so it's not there anymore and again I can enable receiving shadows and the same can be done for the other sprites so let's go for example the multi-layer and I can then disable the casting um, shadows and now the shadow went away all right so yeah uh, let me think I uh, guess there's also another fe new feature or new special shader which is called the uh, mega stack shader uh, let me quickly go here and make a new scene uh, let me move here just a generic sprite here into the scene and let me make a new material for it so doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, we add an unlit material and now we switch to the FX mega stack and basically this is just the normal unlit shader but with the difference and we can stick up to 10 10 sprites here so the main sprite and an additional nine other sprites so yeah you can go really crazy and again no additional um no additional draw calls or anything all right and we can also enable sprite scrolling and all that stuff um yeah we go for this here and then we can um, enable the scrolling and so on so yeah that's it and i hope you like it and um yeah see you soon bye bye